Hi friends and fellow flute enthusiasts, thanks for tuning in to Johnny's Flute Reviews. I'm Johnny Lipford and since 2002 I've dedicated myself to everything flute. I teach, perform, and record full time with the Native American flute. I post videos here on YouTube covering flute tips, tutorials, original songs, and cover songs to showcase how versatile the Native American flute is. If you're new here and interested in becoming a more emotive flute player, or you just love listening to the sounds of the Native American flute, be sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified every time a new video drops. Now, let's dive into a flute from my personal collection. Welcome back. In this episode of Johnny's Flute Reviews, we're going to be looking at a flute made by Gary Cool. He is of Spirit Bird Flutes, and he is based out of Eugene, Oregon. This particular flute is in the key of G minor. I am not sure what the wood is. It is very beautiful. It is a, um, a burled wood, it appears. Um, I believe that the end caps are made from, um, it looks like it's made from ebony or ebonized walnut. Uh, this is actually a flute that I acquired from a colleague of mine, very talented musician, um, Tim Gomez. And um, Tim is an incredible musician of uh, Native American flutes. So I will drop a link in the description below to check him out. Uh, and his music. He does have a new album out. And if you love listening to just the sounds uh, of the natural flute uh, with no other accompaniment, you got to check him out. He's awesome. Back to this flute. Um, this is a new one, like I said, acquired um, just a few months ago. Um, and I just fell in love with, with the sound of it. There's something about flutes that the more that you play flutes, the more that you start to build a preference around what you prefer, what you like, uh, the things that you like in the flute, back pressure, tonality, um, how far you can push them, volume, do they play soft, do they play loud, how do they respond to some breath techniques. All of these things come into play, these little nuances in developing a preference. I love how responsive this flute is. There's not a lot of back pressure and for me, it just, when I, when I use those uh, breath expressions or breath embellishments in, in combination with some finger techniques, that it just comes alive, uh, a lot comes together. So I'd like to play a little bit uh, for you. Uh, this is in the key of G minor. Beautiful flute. So I've known of Gary's flutes for a while. He's, um, I think he's still producing flutes. Um, he's a little um, off the radar. Um, and so if you come across one of his flutes, um, it may be that you got it from him. It may be that you acquired it from another flute player like I did uh, with this one adding to my collection. Um, I'll see if I can find a, a website for him or some point of contact for him and put that in the description below. In the description below, you'll also find some links to some resources that'll help you along your flute journey, um, as well as some videos uh, to watch. Um, again, you may have noticed that I, I threw in a little half hole in there, so I've got a video on YouTube that'll help you out with that as well. Um, but anyway, if you're looking to become a more emotive flute player, be sure you subscribe 
and uh, hit that little bell so you're notified every time a new video drops. Cover songs, original songs, flute reviews, and some flute tutorials and some ideas and inspirations around flute playing. So thank you again for tuning into this episode. I'm going to get off of here because we've got some more flutes to get to in my collection, and I will see you next time.